we're going to do a reflection off grid. So we're going to take this shape, we need to trace it on the patty paper, like I've got right here. Make sure when you trace it, you trace all the letters as well, so you know which one is which, and trace the entire length of the line, including the arrows on both ends. Then to do a, a reflection, we're going to flip the paper over to flip it over the line. And you want to make sure when you do this, you line up the line back to where it started, because the line does not change. So that should be where the new location would be after this flip. One more time, this is the original. Flipping it over the line, line up the line at the ends. And then from here you want to draw the new shape. You can trace it over top and press through. That wasn't great, let's try again. You want to go through onto the other paper so then you can draw it. That worked pretty well. And then the letters are very important to make sure that you label those correctly. So E, I gotta make sure that's the closest one to the line. So this point right here would be my new E. We're gonna call that E prime. And then D was over here. So this is gonna be point D prime. This point here was C, so this is C prime. This is B prime, and then this is A prime. Then to make it look nice, we're gonna use a ruler. Let's connect those vertices, and we've got our reflected shape. Now we're done.